Hi everyone. I was just getting ready to do a marble tumbler, so I'm going to show you guys how I did it. Um, this is just, it's not super smooth. You can see that, but I'm going to smooth it out here really quick, and I'm going to show you how I start off by doing that. I never buy the epoxy dyes. I just use a tiny bit of acrylic paint. And the thing you want to be careful with when you use acrylic paint is you just need a little bit. If you use too much, it will really gum up your epoxy and you won't really even be able to use it. So I just put a little bit on a popsicle stick. And you can add a little bit more than that if you want. But this is a black and orange tumbler requested. And so I'm a little bit worried of it looking too masculine. So I'm gonna add a little bit of pearl dye into my white anyways. And then I'm gonna spread this really, really thinly on my cup. So you want to get it pretty much as thin as you can. Like if you can push some off like that, it's too thick. So just make it as thin as you can. I added the pearl mica just to kind of give it a little bit of a sheen. And I just keep pushing. until it gets evenly coated. Now, if you get it too thick on a marble tumbler, your marbling will move a lot. And that might be pretty, but that's not really the look I'm going for. So I put it on to the point where you can't really push any more off, but that it's coated. Add a little bit more here. And just keep going till you get it all the way around. I almost got it. If your epoxy is getting too thick, you can take a heat gun and just heat it up a little bit. I just want it good and evenly coated here. We almost got it.
Okay. I'm going to make my, sure my cup's really pushed on here. Since I kept moving it around. So, I already have all my little containers mixed up. I'm going to do just a black. And I always start adding the black first. An orange mica. A silver gray mica. And I'm going to do this kind of opaly glitter on here also. So I'm going to start with the black. Move these out of the way. And I want my spinner to spin a certain way right now, so I'm going to give it a second. doesn't want to. It's fighting me. There it goes. Okay, and I'm just going to take a tiny bit and I like to kind of have it stringing off. So when it's spinning to the right, I like to bring this down. Wait till it gets thin. I'm just going to let it fall. you can see where I was letting it fall and it skipped right there. That's okay. I'm just going to let it go around again and try to get it a little better. It's okay if it doesn't go all the way down anyways. I'll show you why here in a second. We do one more right here, get enough that it's falling off my popsicle stick and just kind of let it do its own thing. Okay, now I'm going to make my turner go the other way now. I'm going to work from the bottom up and I like to kind of connect mine a little bit with what I already had going on just in certain areas Now, not unless you want a completely black tumbler, you want to kind of go easy. On the black here. So, after I do that, I'm just going to take a gloved finger. And I'm just going to, I'm actually going to go up this way. Kind of spread it around to the way I like it. I'm going to wipe my finger off in between just because I don't want it too muddy looking.
right now. That's all the black I'm going to do. I don't want it to take over my cup. But then I'm going to go on to my next color, which is going to be orange. And I'm just going to try to go where I'm kind of missing some gray and black areas. My only thing I would tell you as a tip is when you do strings, come off to one side or the other and not back over your cup. It's fixable, but it can mess it up. So I'm just gonna do the same thing and take my orange in spots. Once again, I'm going to turn it off and make it spin the other way here in a second. It's just easier to come down on the angle that way. I'm going to come down. I'm going to let it fall off my popsicle stick again. So I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to kind of smudge the orange out a little bit too. That will help it not move too much. Actually, I'm going to add a little bit of orange glitter to my orange mica here also. potent. I'm just going to go right where I was before on the orange. Turn it the other way. Start from the top.
I might need another orange here, but. These are really hard for me because I don't know when to stop, but. I dripped some orange right there, so I'm gonna turn this off for just a second so I can string this as good as I can here. Can you take the spots I kind of messed up on? Spread it out a tad. I'm just going to do the same thing with my opal glitter. Find a spot. Sometimes I like to just butt it up with a different color. Personally, like the look of Micah's the best on a marble and just a little bit of glitter, but you can kind of do whatever your personal preference is. If you have big chunks like this, you're going to want to flatten them a tiny bit, unless you like the movement on your tumblers. They're going to move a little bit, but I usually just let mine spin and don't add any additional heat. That's it. That's how I'll do. That's how I do my marble tumblers. I'll just let this spin and decal it up and put another a coat another coat of epoxy on it. And that will be it.